Benson's Octaves on Steroids, Part 2. In Part 1, I taught you all about a technique that has become a trademark in many George Benson solos. I'm talking about octaves with fillings. <laughs> I like to call them octaves on steroids. Let me uh, just uh, refresh what we looked at in uh, Part 1, and if you want to know more about the details of this technique, be sure to look up the uh, video. It's in the uh, Jazz Guitar channel here on YouTube. So here we have an octave. If we insert a chord tone in between the uh, two uh, pitches that form the octave, like we have an octave with a third in it because we form a third here, which of course is inverted to a sixth if we uh, look at it from the uh, lowest note in the octave. So that's where we get this sound. I'm sure you've all heard that. And what this simply is, is the uh, octave becomes an outer shell for whatever chord tone we pick. In part one I taught you how to play scales using octaves and thirds. I then also posted a video teaching you how to apply this technique to the uh, classic Miles Davis composition, All Blues. So you might be interested in uh, looking for that video. It's also in the uh, Jazz Guitar channel. Today, what I'm going to teach you is how to play octaves with fourths and fifths. And the first thing we have to keep in mind when we learn this is that fifths and fourths are really the same thing. In other words, fifths, when inverted, become fourths, and vice versa. So, let me show you how this works. If we take uh, this fifth here, A is my lowest note, E is the high note. If I take that uh, high note, which is the E, and bring it down an octave to this E, we now have a fourth, a perfect fourth. So, and guess what? And the rockers out there and you blues players, you're all gonna love this one. Octaves with fifths and fourths are nothing but power chords. In other words, I, I know Cat Stevens, he's saying that uh, this sounds very wimpy, that that's not really a power chord. Okay, let's try that again a power chord. <laughs> yeah, Miles. That's more like it, right? Okay. So, yeah. This is an octave with a fourth in it. And this is an octave with a fifth in, in it. Actually, we can look at it both ways. They can both be octaves with fifths or octaves with fourths. Depends how you're looking at it. If you're looking at this configuration here, or this one for that matter, I have a fifth here from the middle note to the uh, upper octave. I have a fourth from the uh, lower octave to the uh, middle note. If I look at this one, I have a fifth from the uh, lower octave 
to the middle note and I have a fourth from the middle note to the upper octave. So it's really the same thing. So what you're going to notice is when I play these scales that I'm going to teach you, I'm kind of I'm kind of going to mix them around, okay? So there is no you know set way to play them. You can mix and match as you please according to the uh sound you want to get, okay? So today what I'm going to teach you is three different scales using these uh configurations. I'm going to show you an A pentatonic that we can use over minor scales and uh, I'm going to show you an A mixolydian for dominant chords and then an A ionian and I'm simply picking the key of A because it's very central and allows us to cover a lot of uh, fretboard real estate. Okay? Now there are three configurations. I've shown you two of them. The uh, configuration that has a fourth from the lowest octave to uh, the middle note and the second one is the one that has the one that has the uh, fifth in the middle. There's a third one that we'll be using and that's the one that has a tritone and a tritone is a uh, diminished fifth and uh, uh, augmented fourth happens to be the same thing. They both reach the same point and this is the perfect division of the octave. So, and you've all heard, you know, yeah, I know that's not the right sound. Okay. More like it. Okay, so let's get on with it. Um, let's do the uh, minor pentatonic. There I played it. between the uh, middle note and the higher octave. This is a classic power chord that most people first learn. <laughs> okay. And there's different ways of playing this. Now notice now I'm going to come down a different way than I went up. And then we have the other configuration and uh, I'm going to kind of mix both of them because I feel like the other one doesn't sound that great over every degree of the scale. Sometimes you're hitting a lot of the uh, passing notes in there. So I usually like to do it here. 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 So, okay, let me show you what we can do with a uh, mixolydian and we're actually not going to harmonize the whole scale with these fourths or fifths. We're just going to take the arpeggio and what we do is we'll play the root, regular power chord, but then we throw in the configuration with the tritone over the third so we can get that flatted seven in there. 
for the uh, fifth, we just use a regular power chord. Then again, we harmonized the flatted seven with the tritone. Okay, I'm going to show you one more, and this is for a major seventh chord. And those of you who know your theory and know how to transpose all this stuff, now you'll have three different uh, modes using these uh, octaves with fifths and fourths that you can uh, organize into a two-five-one. So you can apply it to uh, most jazz tunes. And I'm going to show you this one, and then I'm going to imp improvise a little bit over a uh, well-known standard so you can see how I use this. Okay, the uh, major scale, I can use every scale degree. There I've used fourths in all of them except on the, uh, the seventh degree, the major seventh, I, I threw in the tritone to make it diatonic. And we can play around with the uh, different uh, configurations, especially, uh, you know, throwing in some of the ones with the fifths and some of the fourths. So let me show you now how I use these different um, structures with fourths and fifths and even the ones with thirds that I taught you in the uh, previous lesson. I'm going to show you how I improvise with them over grooving high. <laughs> I truly hope you've enjoyed this lesson, and before I sign off, I want to invite you to check out my website, 
jazzguitar.richiezellen.com. Here you'll find lots of great transcriptions by all the great jazz guitarists, as well as a lot of other wonderful resources, and they're all free. So I hope to see you soon, and have a good one.